Honduras is a beautiful country with even more beautiful people. But because of an expanding illegal drug trade over the past few years, and increase in, in corruption and violent crime, uh, the, the government is increasingly unable to deliver sometimes even the most basic of services to the people in Honduras, including medical care and, and education. And so, as happens often in these types of situations, it's the poor people who suffer the most. Some of the people in Honduras live in just absolutely deplorable conditions and have no access to medical care. Well, since 2006, a group of uh, volunteers from the Pittsburgh area have been going to a community known as La Villa de San Francisco in Honduras. We have uh, provided medical care, dental care, and physical therapy care, and just general care to the people there. The people start lining up early in the morning to outside our clinics to see us. We treat over 1,500 people in just a few days last year. We provide all kinds of care for people with arthritis, people who are depressed, people with diabetes, hypertension. We try to provide enough medication to last them for a year. More recently, we have also recognized that we would like to try to prevent illness. And to do that, we have started to provide water filters and mosquito nets to help prevent such things as malaria, dengue fever, and the parasites which are endemic in the area. Sometimes people can go for as long as eight days without any clean, potable water. And we will provide water filters to those families in order that they can have clean water. We give them instruction on how to care for the filter. We also use that as an opportunity to uh, present the gospel to them. We provide them a Bible and, and share the living water uh, with them, Jesus Christ. Our most recent trip to Honduras in February of 2016, our team had the privilege of serving five rural Honduran communities. We were able to serve over 1,700 patients, provide much needed medication to over 5,000 patients, and we provided funding for three needed surgeries. But in spite of all that, we still had to turn patients away. Thanks to the generosity of, of you folks at Ingemar, Ingemar Living Waters was able to provide 200 families with water filters for clean water. This trip to Honduras, we knew that Zika virus was going to be a grave concern. We decided that we needed to educate the population, so each patient was taught what Zika is, how it is transmitted, and how it is prevented. We provided over 1,000 mosquito nets to help aid in that prevention. Unfortunately, this year we saw more infant birth defects than any previous trip, and we fear what's going to happen next year when we go back in the 2017 trip with the spread of the Zika virus. So you can see, Ingemar, the needs are so great, and we want to thank you so much for partnering with us. And we want you to know that you are making a difference in the lives of our brothers and sisters in Honduras.